Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. Now in the previous episode we started constructing a little wall around our core of the colony and I have uh, continued this off camera and here's what we what we have so far. So I decided to have the, the walls themselves made out of limestone block wall and the little pillars uh, outside are made of clay brick wall just to give it a bit of a bit of a difference, bit of contrast and uh and yeah so now we got this uh first set of inner inner walls where our arches well actually everyone but mostly arches can take position when we get raided as well and we do have three three points of entrance so one from the well if this is um let's say if we orientate the map like this then we have entrances from the east south and west as well and I, th I guess um, throughout the, the series as well, we'll, we'll try and have uh, some level of realism in this game. So for example, right now I've decided that we are leaving the farms outside the, the core of our base. And um, some of the production, let me just resume. Oh, it is on one speed. That's fine then, let's leave it at that. And what I've uh, decided to do here is to have some of those production buildings just inside the walls because I noticed that um, every time we get a raid these are the first buildings to go and then it's quite annoying just to reset all the production uh, levels there we still have one in here so we'll most likely relocate you just temporarily I guess somewhere here will will do all right, another day has dawned and uh, our settlers should be waking up very shortly, so let's speed up the time. We're still in winter season, it is the last day fortunately. And we also have a new colonist with us, so Potato Shred is now welcomed to the colony as well. Unfortunately, your name was a little too long, so we'll have to do with uh, Potato S. So yeah, welcome to the colony, you are the archer. And if we look at the chops list real quick, Potatoes. Uh, oh, so you are our researcher. Now, when we are... Let's go a couple of layers down as well. Um, I think there was a comment uh, in the previous episode. Uh, or actually the fifth one. That some of our uh, ceilings might have collapsed. But I've gone through all layers. And I can't see anything that might have collapsed. So, yeah, I think uh, I think we don't have to worry. I think everything's still intact. And things are looking looking good. Right, on the lower levels here, I have been slowly also replacing some of the natural tiles with, uh, with proper walls in here. And we're also starting to expand the Great Hall just a little bit. I still... It is Great Hall still, yeah, it is. Okay, so that's great. Yeah, so... The Taylor workshop is looking good over here. We've got a little drop-off zone for anything. See, that is uh, flimsy or sturdy because these items we will take apart and turn them into much better, better items. Then um, we are gonna have a slight remake for the library section here as well. And this is the point where I think some of those walls or merlons might collapse. But we'll fix them up uh, if it happens. Basically, if we build on through those three, four, five different levels due to the uh, stability, we must be pretty careful about how we construct things. So, so the plan to to counter that in the future, oh, wrong button, um, is to ensure that the walls go to the same same place throughout the the layers or or levels. Or floors right so let's keep on uh, keep on doing that we've got a few commands in place and um, outside we've got uh, pretty wide walkways here as well i'm thinking maybe making the center bit with a different um, let's see limestone block floor perhaps just to um, give it a bit of character i suppose right we do have a bit of a quarry here as well just to mine some uh, limestone and it seems we've got a large um, iron deposit just underneath us. And, ooh, well you look at that, even some gold. Yeah, we might get our hands on that fairly, fairly soon as well. But okay, so uh, what else? This little entrance over here, let's have a look at this as well actually. 
So I think here we got, are going to have some decorations and, and things. But this is like the main hall that people walk through when they first arrive to our colony. If they are of, of course approaching us from the, from the south side. And then in the front here, now that's the bit that I'm not entirely sure about. I don't know if we want to go with this four door setup, but essentially these are the access points for the, well, the only access points for our uh, cave really. And this is where people get in and in and out. All right, so things, let's just speed up the time slightly a bit and we can patch this up real quick as well. I have a feeling some things have already collapsed on the, on the upper level, so let's take a look. Have we lost anything? Oh, surprisingly not. Seems to be going pretty, pretty well so far. Okay, so I guess now, uh, whilst we're building, I really hope there is going to be uh, some sort of a raid as well, so we can test out these uh, these walls and how effective they are when it comes to defending ourselves. Right. So for the next steps for this episode, I would like to build some workshops in in the inner layer layers. So let's have a look at our research tab over here, and crossbows is probably one of the ones we would love to have. And then the research will be next, but we don't have enough books right now. So, <laughs> let's see, potato. Ah, uh, you're doing the lower research right now. Well, how about we cancel that? Focus on these books first. And then what we also want to go for is the armor. Uh, we can already do one. Do we have the blacksmith as well? Uh, where was that? Or maybe, hmm, <laughs> let's take a quick look maybe it was this building here armorer's table maybe it was okay that is that is fine uh, let's research you as well and we should probably go into some more uh, defensive uh, structures but we can do the second one too uh, actually let's do cartography let's get that table in there as well so we can finally unlock the region and yeah i think we've used up all the books now which is okay and we done this layer already? Yes, we have. So now it's time to also mine these bits out from here. Now we also have this another spare room, which I think we will turn it into into another workshop. So let's do the same same design as we did just the floor above us. And it is springtime. Fantastic. That means I think tomorrow We'll probably change their clothes into summer attire as well. And food-wise, things seem to be pretty good. We got enough lavish meals there. May need a couple more shelves, actually. Yeah, let's put a couple more in here. So this is kind of like a little walk-through cellar. And are we making some more? Yeah, we are. Okay. How about we increase this to a... About a hundred. Let's see, what are we constructing right now? I think the mining... Yep, they have done a bit of mining already. And if we check the resources here, yeah, that's gonna last us quite a few days. Or years. Depends how crazy we go in the construction side of things. And just a couple more bits for the, for the roofing here as well, and we're almost done. I would like to build uh, some sort of like a blacksmith building up here. Oh, a hailstorm. Okay. Uh, yeah, blacksmith. What's happening there? Are we missing a wall? It does indeed seem so. So let's add another one, just like so. Right, so the first thing is to get rid of those trees there. Ooh, okay, that's okay. Just lost one. Nothing to worry about. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do it somewhere here. We'll have a bit of like a balcony I suppose as well. I don't think we really need to walk behind or inside this wall or maybe we do. Do we need to leave access in here? Not entirely sure but uh, what I'd like to do is maybe have the entrance from here then. How much space do we have? Let's check that as well. This is about eight tiles. Okay so it could work if we can build this um, this one sideways then. Do you know what? Just in case, we're gonna leave a bit of access in here. In case we uh, we decide to change the layout a little bit in the future. So, let's put this down. We'll have a very small sort of porch here. And then the building itself is not gonna be super large. But we'll do a couple of um, maybe windows as well. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. I guess two in here. 
and then like so and then we really need to check how big is that that table that we want to place in indoors oh that's a that's a massive one okay even if we built it this way it mm, yeah it's a little off center but you know what that's okay it doesn't have to be a massive room something like this should work as well actually let's cancel this for the time being because we need to put the i think we have to put the floor in first and we shall use uh, let's do clay bricks yeah now when it comes to windows i don't think we need any windows facing that way let's uh, give this uh, another check is that big was that big enough you know what maybe we'll make it slightly wider then yeah something like this should be should be good and then we can have the doors in the middle one two three four five oh it's a little off center isn't it well that's okay let's keep this uh keep this going uh, whilst they're building or all, all that let's check on the lower levels too have they finished oh they have okay so that's fantastic now this means we did have we can only find it right this one here let's move you into a proper room as well then what else do we need we could use let's do a woodwork bench in here and then to make a couple of bows you have one over here yep that should be uh, should be good when it comes to materials ooh, not sure the shelves are gonna help us because we can't really put anything in here that we need. It's only for textiles or food and medicine. Okay, so sadly shelves, it's not really the way to go. Uh, right, so you're built now. Fantastic. Let's do not forever. Let's have maybe 1,500. And on this table, well, I guess we dismantle some items for a bit of extra wood. Because we don't really want to build these items. Okay, great. We can also start making some crossbows now, which is very exciting. Let us... Um, until we have... I think three should be uh, should be good. Let's keep a stock of three. We don't want to go too, too crazy with that. And now, just to make it a little bit easier, we'll do a couple of stockpiles. And I think in uh, here we'll do two... Let's pause it real quick and another here. Clear it all and let's see, what did you need? You need mechanical components and wood. So this one shall be... Uh, let's clear everything. Materials, raw and let's have some wood in here. Very high for you. And this is going to be manufactured. Uh, mechanical components, perfect. Okay, so this floor is now built. They've mined out everything as well. Uh, let's put the floors in. And now we can start mining out. Let's have a quick check. Yeah, we've got the support pillars in. Which is great. I think I'll do these sides as well and put the flags in place first. Just to keep the similar style. And what I'm also noticing, actually, we should put some more time into into fixing this up in here so let's mine out i think it's pretty safe to do all this isn't it yes it is uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer i think about somewhere here we'll probably want to have like a little walkway or maybe through here hmm that's a that's a good question let's do single layer uh floors we'll take this out and same on this side so this is more like the great uh, hall, the dining area. And this is where we will have the cartography as well. Okay, uh, everyone's asleep, but they should wake up very shortly. And let's take a look at what's happening above ground as well. So the blacksmith building is somewhat there. All we gotta do is now get in that table. And yeah, it uh, space is very limited in here. I guess it's fine. Let's let's stick it in there, and then uh, we'll do the same as we did on the other side. Couple of windows, and okay, single door and two windows. That's the way to go. Oh, we've got a new reinforced door now, and that would be actually lovely to swap you with these doors. Yep, let's uh, let's do that. 
I think we should have enough iron. Yeah, ingots. And one and a two. Same on the other side. Okay, there's two over there. Fantastic. Oh, are we missing some floor bits in here? Yes, we are. So we'll put you in these spots as well. Great. Things are starting to look pretty, pretty lovely now. Final bit of roofing in here. I was initially thinking of not doing the roofs and just putting floors in there, have a little like a walkway but but yeah we just went with, with the roofs anyways so let's have a, like a little porch area here can put the support in same in the front i'm thinking we might do well let's see how it's gonna look and then for the top bit i think we don't want to go higher than than this is might be a, a little bit unrealistic so we shall just cover it with a with the roof. Uh, which way should we... Yeah, this way is probably good. So let's uh, let's put it over there. Okay, great. Now the walkway is gonna go from here. I actually cancel these two. I think the porch itself will be probably made of... Oh, if we can only grab it. And that should be good. Carry on, everyone. You'll probably want to open those windows. Just to let the fresh... Um, spring breeze inside and we built the table as well yes we have and now to make this right now it says it's outside well once they finish the walls and and uh, and the roof it will be inside indoors but we also want to place down a couple of um, tool shelves in here and let's bring it down this way you want to hide the roofs we need two here to turn it into a workshop and now that i think about it let's do it also also in here, ooh, should probably replace these sections there. But uh, let's put one over there and I guess one in next to this table here as well. Yep, that should be good. And we'll give them a little bit of light. So a couple of torches. Torches here, here. And let's see if we can squeeze these, um, these bad boys in there as well. Well, that's quite a, quite a bit done already. How is this middle section going here? Okay, I think we can put the flags in now. That should be enough space. Here we go. And then the next bit will be just to start mining all this out. Don't think we need to do the top bit. So yeah, that should all collapse. Might just take out this section here. And let's just have a look. How is it going to go? Oh, we're making already... Got a couple of uh, crossbows already, which is great. I guess in the middle bit here as well, we could bring any kind of... And here we go, we've finally got our raid that we've been waiting for for quite some time. Let's clear everything. Now let's take a look at our, our enemies over here. Oh, that is very bright. Uh, what do we have? We got a long bow there, short couple of short bows. Two long bows, actually. Okay, that should not be too difficult. But I guess we'll see. I'm assuming they'll also go through this bit. I'm really hoping we've got the doors in. Yes, we do. Okay, so that's great. Ugh, it would have been embarrassing if uh, we had not finished those doors. Okay, we've got another workshop. Okay, fantastic. That's probably this one. Yeah, yes, it is. The raid has started. And fantastic. They're going to come straight through here so everyone let's be smarter than last time we shall who's got the highest marksman we need i think level 15 at least okay so Bolly, you shall get across and we'll just quickly check as well edit weapon we'll take sturdy sturdy is fine and actually, I should uh, quickly have a look. Where are our crossbows? This one is fine. Oh, that's great. Oh, they're both fine. Do you know what? Then we shall leave this. What does the crossbow say? Let's have a look at that. Those two. Uh, okay, yeah, that seems to be good. And just double check. Okay, all crossbows are allowed. Fantastic. Francesco, your marksman is only 11. Drake... 
Ooh, not high enough. Christ. Ooh, 18. Okay, so you're gonna be another crossbow man. Now, the rest of you, let's resume. Everyone that has a bow right now in your hands. Are they all equipping? Yes, they are. Let's draft you. Get up here. Uh, Bixie, I don't think now is the time. So, we shall also take our melee team and bring you just behind the behind the doors who's running oh they're gonna grab the crossbows i hope you'll make it in time oh it's gonna cut it close and who's the second one running there right now kuist can he make it all right Polly, you have the weapon already how about you get up there now can he make it i think he can we should be fine and they're gonna go and try and destroy these, so... Fortunately, they go through the front, so that's good. Let's, uh, spread you guys out a little bit as well. Kuist, it is time to get out from here. Come on. Get moving. Uh, I think it's too late. Okay, never mind. You are going there. Everyone, fire away. And let's start taking down, down those with the bows. Polly, please come and stand somewhere. Actually, you know what? Here is fine. And start shooting. Okay, this one. Is Carl gonna, uh, Carl gonna get through this door? I don't think so. Let's see where are... Ooh, you are trying to break through. So maybe Drake... If you start shooting him over there, it's quite a lot of them. Are we taking down the bows? Uh, okay. Let's change a couple of you around. Okay, that's good. Fortunately, trying to break through all those doors, which is uh, somewhat great, I guess. Okay, so if you go there, now start shooting that way. Uh, Polly, yep, you can go there. Same with you. Mr. Potato, okay, I don't think you have any more targets, so... Let's bring you over as well. And can they shoot straight down? I'm not sure. But let's just, um, I guess we could try. Let's, let's bring you over there. All right, keep on shooting, guys. And it's a surprise. Here we go. There's another one down. Ooh, okay. How are we doing here? Well, there's no one really left here, is it? I think we pretty much destroyed them now. Oh, there is a couple, couple there. Let's see which way they are gonna run now. All right, you're gonna fall, and so are you. I'm right, curious if you could go there. Let's bring you guys, all of you. And leave no survivors. We take no prisoners in this one. And whew, that was uh, that was pretty good. Well done, well done, team. I think you all deserve a nice little break now. No one got injured. I think that's a that's a first, isn't it? Uh, let's go all layers. And uh, now it's time to just tidy this mess up a little bit. Don't think we're gonna get any good weapons. Everything's pretty much flimsy or sturdy. Well, there is a good leather, leather armor there. Some of this might be might be actually handy. Uh, those shields are not very lovely. Uh, do you know what? It's all good. Let's speed it up, and the repairs can can resume. Probably for the time being. Let's put another door. Uh, this is not a permanent thing here. I'm pretty sure we said it before as well. Uh, we do want to get rid of this uh, eventually. And I'm actually pretty happy that none of these got destroyed. We were able to eliminate 
everyone that approached the, our little buyers or I guess we could call them workstations as well in a way. Fantastic. Uh, let's bring the roofs up as well. We do have this little workshop now. So that's complete. I was thinking for the decorations just to put a couple of these kinds of walls in here to or fences. No, they're more like walls, aren't they? I know it's it's uh, categorized as a fence. Okay, so <laughs> these ones in here and in front of uh, front of those fences, we'll probably put some some berries just to give it a slightly nicer nicer look around around this area. Okay, so right about... Oh, okay, so we can't place it, I suppose, in this corner. Uh, which is... Uh, it's okay. Now, for... It is a little dark in here as well, and in the inner walls, we'll, we'll definitely like it to be a bit more colorful. We'll also do a couple of um, these kinds of uh, flags. And we'll probably have some more lights along the way as well. But yeah, that was quite a quite a good episode. I'm very glad we managed to test out this new defense wall here. Nothing got destroyed. We've taken out a whole army of invaders. And um, yeah, pretty happy overall. I think the future updates will be... Uh, just to... we're almost done with the smithy over here. When we go below the ground, uh, we've also turned this into workshop. We just need to set the right items in here. And then also carry on removing all this, uh, this area. That should be pretty much it for this episode. So thanks very much for, uh, for watching this. And uh, I hope you have nice holidays. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode.